Fort Wayne police are making a big dent in catching suspects in the recent string of armed robberies. Good evening, I'm Heather Heron. I'm Mark Mellinger. Police caught three suspects just minutes after an armed robbery today. And two more men are behind bars less than a week after a different robbery on Sunday. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson is live at Renaissance Restaurant. Alyssa, you've been talking to police about this recent string of robberies. We have new information tonight at 6 o'clock. Three people are behind bars in connection with the armed robbery that happened earlier today here at Renaissance Restaurant. They are Mark Kyle, Deontay Witt, and Demarcus Witt. Two of them are 18 years old. All three are charged with armed robbery. Today's robbery here makes number 12 in just 20 days in Fort Wayne. And police are taking notice and putting people behind bars. Things are bad financially, but to rob someplace, that's not right. It may not be right, but scenes like this are becoming all too common in Fort Wayne. Going through a series of robberies here of late, we have thrown all of our resources at it. Renaissance Restaurant, the latest victim, three people, two armed with guns, robbed it around 11 this morning. To have somebody hold a gun in your face, it's not... That's not cool. A server says the men came in and went up to the counter. One of them asked for change. The other went around the counter, pulled out a gun, and demanded cash. They're very shook up. Um, the one girl is really, I don't even know how she's continuing to work. That I think that takes her mind off of it. It didn't take long for police to find the suspects. Witnesses gave a description of the getaway car, and police pulled it over minutes later at Warsaw and Pettit. Inside, three men matching the robber descriptions. We're always going to have those idiots who think they can get away with the perfect robbery. Well, as today is an example, uh, we're ready. This all happens on the heels of police arresting two men in the robbery at Walgreens on Sunday. 18-year-olds Demarcus Figgs and Quentin Taylor are charged with the crime. Figgs also faces charges for putting the cashier in a chokehold and holding a knife to his head. Police say this surveillance video and public tips helped bring them in. Not to mention the fact that we had some really quality police work that also uh, helped to bring closure to this case. One case closed, but several still open. A total of 12 robberies in 20 days, but a police warning to would-be robbers. We're in place, we're getting good information, and the likelihood of getting away with it is very slim. Police think Figs and Taylor may be connected to some of those other recent robberies. Right now they're working with victims and witnesses to try to connect the dots and connect them to those crimes. Live at Renaissance Restaurant, Alyssa Ivan.